do they have the right to so the company they're playing it smart they are a gang and they're running the market now if in their eyes jason has now sold a pc which co contains illegal shit on it how does nino feel about that there's two things it, it doesn't make sense that um there they can be pissed about it 1000 percent because they've seen the pc just as we have and on that pc is a ton of illegal shit a lot of that illegal shit of which of which for all we know there's going to be an app on there for breaking into banks you know what i mean like it's literally meta dumps a cop like but at the same time um at the very same time at the very same time it's also understandable why they may have sold the cop something and th they thought it was okay i don't think there's like a right or wrong there and i don't think nino does either because one is literally selling a pc the other is giving the paraphernalia necessary right so i don't think there is a right or wrong is it okay for a gang to be like yo that's fucked up that makes sense just as much as it makes sense for like a, a more or less a civilian to look at the situation and be like i don't see a problem with it it's like a hyper gray area right I don't think there is a right or wrong. It's like very subjective. Okay, then comes the next thing, which is the snitching bit. Literally no one gives a fuck about snitching. Nino learned that like five, six, seven, eight years ago. Literally everybody snitches to the cops. Literally everybody. Everyone says don't snitch, but everybody snitches. Everyone calls 911. Everybody, if they can use the cops, will use the cops. That is literally everybody. I don't think there's like a single person who doesn't do it. Minus like maybe Jaeger. <laughs> so if it was like snitching on like, yo, that's where someone's warehouse is, that sure. But if it's like, a police escort on something like if it's like yo this guy holding a gun to my friends nino doesn't really take that any kind of way because literally everybody in the company has done the same thing as far as nino's aware unless they've like sort of changed their uh uh their tune um so like that's not even really snitching technically that's not even snitching first and foremost um snitching actual snitching like is when you are affiliated with something like you're in a gang or you're involved with some sort of like criminal activity like you're in the cocaine world and you go and tell the cops about stuff that you know right it's not really snitching like it's like saying like if someone's busting in my house and I call 911 that I snitched on the cops because I'm not trying to die. That's literally not snitching. And even if it was, regardless, everybody does it. I don't know anyone who I could sit back and say doesn't do that. As far as Nino's concerned, there was a time when Nino would look at any sort of interaction with a cop that would lead to anyone arrest, even your enemy, was seen as like super like sus and negative. But I, I think Nino, I'd say over the many years has kind of gotten used to it because it's not a paradigm Nino himself is gonna change, right? That's a mentality that everyone goes down. So changing that is like almost impossible. you with me if you haven't picked up on this yet i'm literally taking zero sides here i'm analyzing how nino is going to take this in right now because here's the fact of the matter is that um right now 
Nino doesn't really have an allegiance to either of these groups. The reason Nino needs to think about these things is because he does fuck with Jason and Raya and Nunu, but at the very same time, he's done some business with individuals in the company. And regardless of how that rela either of the relationships change, Nino's going to need to, in the future, um, you know, need to make his own decisions. Like if tomorrow the company comes through and is like, yo, we want you to work on with us on X, Y, and Z, right? Or, you know, I don't know what, what you want to call the, uh, you know, Jason, Raya, Nunu, etc. I don't know what you want to call them. Let's just call them like Civ Gang. Let's call them Civ Gang. If Civ Gang comes through and it's like, yo, Nino, we want to do some business. Nino's got to think about these things, right? He needs to know like how he's going to approach that down the line. So here's where what where Nino has landed. The reality of the matter is that you need a criminal organization. Otherwise, as of right now, right? Unless things can change, right? When the mayor comes into effect and whatnot. As of present, without a criminal backing, your business is simply not going to function. You're going to end up with shrug way 2.0. That's what Nino thinks. Now, I'm saying that Nino, right? Oh, see, I think probably once the mayor comes into play, da 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 da, da uh, there may be things where like civilians can do stuff. For example, I imagine there's going to be new restaurants. There's probably going to be, you know, uh, that you can run. There's probably going to be this. There's probably going to be that. You know what I mean? So, like, I think it's like a little short sighted to think that there's not going to be opportunities for folks that want to mostly lean civilian. They just aren't present at the moment, but it's also because the election isn't over yet. And once the election happens and like that chamber of commerce thing happens, like, you know, there'll probably be some, uh, some civilian things, but even then the civilian things are probably going to be backed by at least a singular gang. 